ISTQB Foundation Level Question 204 Which of the following statements about the chosen software development life cycle is correct? A. If agile software development is used, system test automation replaces the need for regression testing. B. If a sequential development model is used, when the dynamic testing is typically restricted to later in the life cycle. C. If an iterative development model is used, then component testing is typically performed manually by developers. D. If an incremental development model is used, then static testing is done in early increments and dynamic testing in later increments. Take a moment to subscribe to my channel and hit the bell icon to don't miss new ICQB questions and answers that will help you guaranteed enhancing your skills. Join us on this learning journey. If you find value in that I do, and my videos help you, then you have the option to donate through the links in the video description to I can release new videos on ISTQB questions on a regular basis. Correct answer is B, according to ISTQB syllabus. If a sequential development model is used, then early in the life cycle no code is available for execution. And so during this time static testing e.g. reviews is performed. Later in the life cycle then code is available for execution. Dynamic testing is possible. No. However, that preparation for dynamic testing will often occur early in any software development life cycle. All the rest of the answers are wrong. Answer A is not correct. In agile software development, deliverables are produced in each iteration, and the frequent delivery of increments necessitates extensive regression testing. Although some or all of this regression testing may be automated, the regression testing automated or not, cannot be replaced by system test automation. Answer C is not correct. If an iterative development model, like agile software development, is used, then component tests may well be used for regression testing for each iteration, in which case there is a strong argument for automating this component test which will have to be run frequently, and there is unlikely to be a strong argument for developers performing these component tests manually. Answer D is not correct. In most incremental development models, deliverables are produced in each increment, requiring both static and dynamic testing at all test levels for each increment delivered. Explanation. Finally, let's look at the section 2.1.1 Impact of the Software Development Life Cycle on Testing in the ISTQB syllabus, where we can see that the executable code is usually created in the later phases. So, typically dynamic testing cannot be performed early in the SDLC. This is consistent with the correct answer B. I believe in your hard working and I wish you good luck in passing ISTQB Certified Tester Foundation Level exam. Never give up!